Oh, goody. All right, what's up, everybody? Zombies here again. And today we have another Weekend Wild video. Which I believe this is going to be Weekend Wild number three. And we are actually playing a class that is not Rogue this time. As much as I love Rogue, and I'm sure there are some powerful builds with it in Wild 2 right now, given the state of how busted it is in Standard. Thought we would try out something different today, and I'm also a fan of Paladin in Wild, as it turns out. I actually played quite a lot of hand buff Paladin back when Crab Rider here had Wind Fury permanently, and not just for the first turn it comes down, as well as when Conviction was unnerfed. Um, it is now a two mana card it used to be a one mana card and was super duper insane especially with wind fury stuff still a really good card um but yeah so reno paladin has actually kind of uh taken off in popularity a bit there are a bunch of different versions of it this is my own uh little take on it tweaked a few cards but light forge carriel 100 percent the entire like backbone of the stack Carriel is just nuts. Um, the fact that I swear half the time I forget she basically casts Consecration because the other parts of her are just so ridiculous. You deal two to all enemies, you get a 2 5 immovable object which halves all damage you take, which is nuts. Especially given that there is not nearly as much uh, weapon destruction running around in wild right now compared to standard with the viper um not a lot of decks really make space for that because weapons really aren't that popular in wild um more fringe matchups usually around wet weapons so people usually don't run that kind of tech like you see in standard so there's just most decks don't have a way of dealing with it which is nuts and you get a weapon that never goes away that you can just keep clearing board or going face with and that the hero power Plus, give a random minion plus four, plus four in your hand is just super insane. It's exactly what this deck wants to do as we are running a hand buff theme. We got Smuggler's Run. There's finally enough hand buff support where I think it is uh, kind of viable in a, uh, a Reno shell where we can only run one of everything. Um, Lorekeeper Polka is really, really insane in this deck. Just kind of like Reno... Priest in the past, putting your best card on top is really nuts, especially when if you're reversing aggro, it actually puts your Reno second from the top. So I actually had a game where I got to go Carriel into Reno and just totally wrapped up the game against an Odd Hunter who had a full board and me down to like 10 health and still managed to win that game. So Carriel into Reno, just absolutely crazy. Polk, it's really good at enabling that. And we do have just some more good cards from Alterac Valley. Uh, Righteous Defense is a really huge card in matchups like even Warlock, as this just deals with their big giant sometimes on turn three or turn four, and can enable some really big swing turns because you put those giant stats into one of your minions. Pretty insane. Um, Stoneheart Vindicator, also just a really powerful uh, unit here. Gets the benefit of the hand buff, but also gives us a little bit more draw. And some tempo there, because it does make the spell cost zero. So we're going to cast whatever we draw right away, most likely. Um, I like uh, trying Pack Mule in here. There's a lot of neat synergy. The only thing is you do want to avoid this card in the mulligan because you won't get the full benefit of the second copy. You start with it in your opening hand. And I think a lot of people sleep on Peasant. Um, obviously, in Wild, there is a lot of removal, because people are used to dealing with fast and aggressive decks. But I think this is an incredibly powerful one-drop that a lot of people just forget about. And so I wanted to try it out a little bit in here, because we do have the hand buff support to make it a little bit harder to kill and any kind of card draw in paladin just seems really good when the 
card quality of what you've got in the deck is pretty high right now. Um, Bannerman, even post nerf, is really great. You could even argue it's less of a nerf because now it's more tutorable from other cards. So I think uh, I think Reno Paladin's in a really good place right now. We're gonna again do some games with it. If you enjoy this type of content, do remember to like, comment, and subscribe. It really does help out the channel a whole bunch. And let's get into some games. Alright, a hunter. I think the hunter matchup is actually one we can handle here. So, how do we want to do this? Um, we're keeping Polkit. Polkit's insane. We're keeping this. Get rid of this. We'll get rid of this. Polkit gets us our best card available on turn six with the coin. So. Against Hunter, I think it might even be better to uh, to just not play anything for as long as possible. To just make it harder to progress their quest. Alright, those are good cards. Alright, that's good. That's very good for us. I think we're just going to pass this turn and then go for a double hand buff the next turn. So they do have a Viper. That's a little scary. We do not like seeing Vipers. All right, we do our buff. They're taking it pretty slow here, which is great for us. Trading away another Viper is also something we like to see. Play something or not to play something is the question. I think we will play something. Now we're set up so we can go poke it on five and we can get our hero out on turn six with the coin. So they're looking here. A black arrow. All right. They have another. Yep, another rapid fire. This is actually fine. Like, that's a little scary, but... If we set up our pulpit.
Oh man, they traded it away again. If they get Viper against the carry, it's gonna be bad for us. We have Reno, so it's like... We also have Lotheb, who will come up probably after. Uh-oh. That's scary. Oof. Hunter's Mark. We can kill this, though. It's our weapon. Ariel to the rescue. Alright, so there you go. Damage. More of those. This is fine, because now we can. We can Lotheb. Might just be safer to Reno, though. The answer is here. Remember the fall. Probably should just re now. The light dim. Big re now too. And then we have this to shut him down for a turn. Yep. <laughs> GG. At ease. At ease. Climbing quickly. Where that goes to you. Alright, I'm getting, getting through gold. You can't tell I haven't played much wild this month. <laughs> Alright. Ooh. It's a druid. Or a rogue. I feel like it could be a... Uh, we'll keep this in case it's token druid or aggro druid. West. Um, I have legitimately no idea how this mashup is going to go, but we're going to find out. They're taking it slow, though, which is good for us. Because we're doing the same thing. Ooh, pack mule. Nice. Gives us something to do on curve. Probably get the Bannerman out next turn. They're stacking up the armor. As you do with Quest Druid. Hey, there is our girl, Cariel. She's going to be very important in this matchup, I have a feeling. Lothab is a great find. Ooh. All right, so we need to deal with that. It might just be Samuro because Quest Druid doesn't really have a lot of minions. I think it is Samuro here. Because we really just want to get this down on six. But they might get six attack this turn. Now they're drawing. All right, that's good. Is good for us. Or should be, 
I imagine. Uh oh. Okay, now they still don't have enough. Get the guff. They were close though. Alright, here comes Lothab to the rescue. Yeah, look at that. Shut down their whole turn. Lotheb OP. Now we coin into Ariel. And they are no longer going to be dealing a whole lot of damage with those attacks. So I think we can just like beat them from here. Can stack our deck too with Lore Keeper. So they get their quest done. It'd be sick if we drew Rat. Just rat their quest real quick. Okay, so. Probably pull Gib. We could do something like this and this into hero power. Yeah, I'll probably do that. Oh my god, we have a giant Zephyrus. Nice. Get these out. Now that's kind of a neat, uh, neat interaction. This is a cool version of Quest Druid, so props to them. Look at that, seven damage, like, just, just four. I don't know if they have enough damage in their deck to get through this. Oh, that's why we need to poke it, because Reno. But we're not in a rush to heal. Draw a holy spell. So we're gonna kill this. Press the button. Draw a holy spell. And then pulk it. So now we'll get our Reno. And they may have a bunch of health, but they do not have a lot of damage or cards. They're very quickly running out of cards here. Ooh, a pounce. So they're going to the dome with this, I imagine. Yep. That's fine. So we don't even need to Reno yet. We can actually just get the life steal down. Press the button first. So we get our life steal. And we might as well throw this here. And I guess draw a card. Yeah, we have a fat board. And they can't, uh, they, they just don't have much damage with that guff. That guff is four damage to our face. The immovable object is so ridiculous. I absolutely love Cario. She's just probably the most insane hero. Got him.
Ooh, another paladin. Interesting. Um, okay, so I think we're going to keep the Pulkit, actually. Keep the Pulkit. Probably toss this. Toss both of these. Keep the Pulkit, though, because that can help us get our best cards. These are pretty decent. That is scary. I think hero power is just the best move. Sucks giving them a card, but what are you going to do? Peasant looks cool in gold. That's unfortunate, but we can kill it now. So I'm really glad we mulliganed the way we did. If we didn't have an answer for that, it would be pretty bad. What? By the holy Oops. Goodness, no. They buffed my minion. <laughs> Whoopsies. <laughs> oh, opponent. You silly, silly opponent. That's a good draw. Now we get our Polka down. That must have been a misclick. Maybe they're playing on mobile. Just played it a little too fast. Ooh, they have a gold carryal. Sick. This could be a mirror match. If power is what you seek, knowledge is what I provide. Get down Polka. Carrier looks really sick in gold. Reporting for duty. All right, so we got Light Forge Carrier for next turn. Samuro cleans up. I want him to. Kind of like run back to let me think the burial is slain our rallying cry it is wisdom you lack may the light now we have carry over next turn i just like giving this a better chance to survive such a cool card. I hope it stays in standard. Alright, they do the trading. They have a run back of their own. So it looks like it is a mirror, possibly. This is fine, though. We have a carry on curve. So now we'll start pressing the button. See if they have carry on curve too. Our yes. It's a miracle. So this is like the Reno Paladin mirror. That's funny. Unreal we actually got uh, a mirror for like a uncommon deck like this. Oh, both have time. Oh, they have Neophyte in their deck. And Zeph. Oh, shit. RIP the weapon. Well, I know what I'm doing with my Zephyrus now. Jeez. We'll play this first.
Well, now we know what I'm doing with my stuff. I, I find him. He's probably pretty deep now, though, because we ordered the deck. That's the only downside there. Boom. Wow, yeah, what a turn. Big Reno, okay, cool. Ooh, a rainbow. True strength comes from within. Job done. Christology. Well, it's helping us thin our deck, which is what we need at this point. Uh, really, it's not we need to find a way to kill the weapon, ideally. So I imagine they have some chargers too, and we're going to take a lot more damage than they are right now from chargers. You gotta sleep with the fishes. If power is what you seek, knowledge is what I provide. Okay. So we're about at half health. Cario can clear something. Clear the big thing. I'm gonna press the button. It's on Grime Street. I think we just throw down as much stuff as we can and hope they're out of ways to deal with it. They could kill us from 16, so definitely a real possibility. Uh, oh my god, 16? Exact, well, not exactly at 2 over, but geez. That's crazy, but you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave it in, because it was the mirror, and that was a fun game, and, you know, no matter what, Reno Paladin won there, right? So, <laughs> that was, that was cool to see the, the mirror mash kind of there. 16 attack. On, that's insane. Must have been sitting there from the beginning of the game. But I, I still, I'm still happy with how things went generally. That game probably should have just healed up there, I guess. But hindsight's 2020. Uther versus Garrosh. Now you're sailing on my seas. Witness my power. All right, so warrior probably don't need these. These are good. Try it like this. All right, more hand buff. Like to see that. They're pirate. Okay. So we're going to smugglers run. Pretty good early game here against Pirate Warrior, I think. Grab your cutlass. Let's buckle right, one pirate. Other patches. Actually like coining out the banner man here, I think. Not 
not too heavy. Air of, okay. All right. Doesn't have charge though. Yep, they go for the trade. Not what I expected. We can get our catacomb guard down now. Could also be greedy and go. Actually, kind of like being greedy. We're gonna play this for the draw. Play this next turn with our Righteous Protector. We have more to gain from it because we've only lost three health, so. Alright, so we get our draw. Very nice. Wow, they must have a bad hand. Have you no respect for the dead? I think we're getting a little lag here. Yep, there it goes. We got our one cost. And the turn. Yeah, we got a lot of good early game. This is definitely a lower curve version. I've seen higher curve versions of the deck, but like I, I'm liking the low curve version so far. Feels like it is it is a lot of game against some of these very board based decks. Oh, we'll disconnect. We'll go back in. Oh, I guess it's our turn. Oh, we have Dirty Rat in case they uh. They screw up, maybe we can rat their quest. That's always a fun thing to do. Accidents. They happen, you know? Buff our stuff up. Comes from That's good. We're gonna put that here. Oh, again, a little bit of lag. Repent. This goes in here. Kill that. Let's see how many pirates do they need for Rokar. They're still a ways off. They do three pirates this turn. We rat them. There's one pirate. Oh no, they, they need more than three, huh? Oh, that's unfortunate. That's okay though. We're gonna run Thak. Guess I want to just keep the board as much as possible. I think that's my path to victory here. We're gonna hope they screw up and let us rat the uh, Rokara. Oh, I think it's gonna happen. Maybe. Come on, play some one cost pirates opponent. You know you want to. Ugh. Oh, one off. So let's see how are we gonna do this? If 
play Barov, trade. There's not really a good way to kill this, huh? Barov, trade. Chill blade, but we kind of need the chill blade, I think. If we like, yeah, we're going to bear off. So, oh, it didn't play it. Oh my god. The lag tonight is ridiculous. You can literally see the card go down and it's like, nope. It's pretty stupid. So now they're gonna get the juggernaut down. Sadly, we cannot rat it. Yep, there it is. I think we can still win, though. That's a big pack mule. Yeah, we play that. Let me play the horse rider. Kill this. Go face. And just try and set up for like a lethal in a turn or two with our big things. Oh, jeez. That's a big pirate. Can attack right away. That is a yikes for me. But they still have to put a lot in to, to kill this 9-8. Next turn we can heal. That's annoying. Oh wow, they're leaving this up. Looks like it. That's a bold move. Uh, we're gonna rat them, I think. Let's draw first. May the light grant you peace. Oh, no more holy spells. Get the big rat. Wow, what? Oh, okay, it's just lag. I was like, they don't have a thing in their hand? That would be very surprising. I mean, I think we just go full face. Screw on it. Here's the game. There we go. Jeez. Yeah, I don't know what's up with the lag tonight. I wasn't like this in the last game. Oh, and it looks like it. Yep. Come on, game. You can do it. I believe in you. Oh my god. Fucking Mr. Smite. Big pirate spawn. That's annoying as hell. Is it enough, though, for them? I don't think it is. Wow, they had to go face? Grab your cutlass. Let's 
Oh my god, and it now it is charged because of the Mr. Smite. Oh my god, they actually found a way to clear. It's insane. Oh my god. <laughs> this is really annoying. We have to kill that. We have to kill this, I feel like. Where's Caria when you need her? Alright, no high roll off the Juggernaut, please. They've already got a bunch of high rolls this game off the Juggernaut. No more. All right, that's 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 good. Tiny pirate. Oh, they're actually punching in. So they're dead to carry. Them. They can't even kill this thing. Now it's Dormu. Wow. Well, props to them for trying something fun on Nars Dormu Day. Oh, it's Cariel. Well GG, Nazdormu. Let's go see a Pirate Warrior. Makes me have a little bit more respect for the Pirate Warrior than I normally would. Alright. So against a hunter, I probably want to ship all these cards. I think the way to beat hunter is really just try and get your best cards um, in the matchup, which are definitely Karyl and Smear Healing, and just making it so, definitely Lotheb, and making it so they can't progress their uh, their quest by killing your minions early on. That's what we're going to try and prevent here. Oh, I will disconnect. Um, oh, wow. It's even hunter. Okay. We're, well, we're going to play a minion. It's even hunter. Even Hunter is also a good deck. It's just not nearly as common. Lotheb. Okay. Well, not as insane as it would have been in the other matchup, but oh, Wandering Monster. Scary. I don't like seeing that. But there's hero power and pass. So maybe it's like a, an even secret hunter? Aim for the wheels. I like playing this. I'm gonna be greedy with this and hold it for next turn to try and get some more value off another minion. Because I think we're gonna play this next turn. So we'll have one mana to spare anyway. This is a little unfortunate, but what are you going to do? Smugglers run. Have you no respect for the dead? Try that. 
Maybe use Zeph to clear the secrets next turn. Or Lotheb and then Zeph the following turn. It's been a while since I've seen an even hunter, so I'm not exactly sure what they're trying to do. Other than obviously just kill me with the hero power. Interesting. We play this first. The light, you peace. Then we play this. Or a flare. See a secrets, and now we have rush. Pretty good. Zephyr is doing his thing. So another trap. That's a little... Little sus. Double. Okay. We dealt with their explosive. We dealt with explosive impact tactics. There's no reason for me to swing in right now. Zero reason. Kind of like ratting them, actually. Okay. We're just going to try and control the board here. Another secret. That's crazy. Craziness with all these secrets. Stone don't, don't really want to ram into it. Yes, we will. Oh, there's a bear. Okay. Well, now we can run back. That's fine. We're gonna hero power and try and get some more value out of this by holding on to it for another turn. I would imagine that's the majority of their secrets gone. They don't seem to be running Ice Trap. Whoa, Scavenger's Ingenuity. That's not a card you see very often. Another secret. Okay, so more secrets. All in on the secrets. Respect. Swing there. I think we swing here and then swing there and try and kill it. Okay, that's fine. We'll do this. Ariel. Hero power. It's 
So they are getting us down on health. We kind of need to start getting our Cariel or Reno or something going. Any kind of draw here would be good. Wow, that's a card I haven't seen in a while. Hyena Alpha. Garrison Commander. Scary. Scary damage. But they don't have a lot of burst, and they're running out of cards, so we can start. And they tra have to trade there, nice. Oh, that's sick. Okay, so we go trade here, trade here, swing in, big Lotheb, taunt, taunt. And how big is this? It's a five. Okay. Five's pretty big when you have a board this big. Three damage. Again, they don't have a lot of burst, but they've been holding this card for a while, I think. We can give ourselves more burst, actually. Alright, so they don't have any burst. That's awesome. Um, cat trick. That's fine. The battle. We get a trade there. We get a trade there. We value trade here and here. And we go face. We go face. Just throw this stuff down. We don't hear power because I don't want to risk board locking myself. You never miss your mark. A well tuned maneuver. Exemplary. Yeah, and look at this. Even without drawing our big carrier or the Reno, I think we got there. Yeah, GG passes it back. We get an extra card. And we'll end it with carrier. GG. Even Hunter is a cool deck. I got a, I got a lot of respect for that one. And we got out of gold. Nice. Alright, so Reno Paladin. Um this deck felt really, really good. Uh we faced some weird stuff but we also faced some of the most prominent stuff in the wild right now in the wild meta right now in pirate warrior and odd hunter and we were able to come out on top versus both of them so i think just on that alone this uh this deck definitely warrants some respect and i definitely think it uh might have a place in the current meta and definitely with Wild changes happening in a bit over a week. This could be a new top tier contender, maybe when uh, when the dust settles and Sorcerer's Apprentice is dead and gone. So I'm pretty excited about that. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing what happens with Wild. If other kind of interesting decks will be playable, this deck is super fun to play though. So if you enjoy and miss uh reno style decks or if you just enjoyed the old uh hand buff paladin from a few months ago um this really plays very similarly and if you like playing with cariel she is definitely like one of the best cards in the deck uh kind of making reno viable here um just super insane card, super fun to play. Would not surprise me if she gets nerfed in the next upcoming months. I don't think she's going to get nerfed right away because I don't think she's a problem in standard right now because Viper is much more common there, so she's not as oppressive. But Cariel's insane. I expect to see a lot of her in the wild format in her current form, assuming she doesn't get nerfed soon. Um, but yeah, that's going to do it for this video. If you enjoyed it, do remember to like, comment, and subscribe really does a bunch to help out the channel and keep the videos coming depending on what happens with the balance stuff 
might see more wild stuff from me if I'm enjoying the format more. We will have to wait and see. But until next time, take it easy, everybody. Peace.